wave of pivots is about to reach its climax. Thanks to some number eight wire ingenuity, the National Basketball League managed to pull together a competition at a time when no one was playing professional basketball anywhere else in the world. They did it by getting the teams to stay at the same hotel and by playing all the games at the same venue. Genius. ESPN certainly thought so. Now these local guys are being watched by fans all over the world. We'll talk to one of the stars shortly, but first this from Mary Jane Eckert. This is one of Auckland's COVID quarantine hotels. And about 100 bounces up the road. Thank God. There's a lockdown of a different kind going on. How tall are you guys? Oh, sure. 84 players, seven teams, 55 games played so far. Frankly, I'm afraid to go into this room. So you've been in here for six weeks. Oh, you've kept it quite tidy. The good thing about being here is we haven't had to pack up every other day and get on a plane and go somewhere else. How do you decide who rooms with who? Uh, he didn't want to stay with me and I don't want to stay with him because he snores. So. He snores just as loud, so feeling was mutual. That was easy. That was decided before we got here. Yeah, that Wait, way, that's a reverse. No, that's a reverse. And of course, with sports enough. people, Jackson it's not a game reverse. if you're not winning. See, you made that up. Are you colorblind as well? Like no, no, half a team is five. And you always finish seven, eight clubs. <laughs> I thought I was going to win. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. <laughs> Come on for your game tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Like we'll see you out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And joining us live now is Jared Kennett, who is a professional player with the Otago Nuggets and has the best mullet in the game. It is great to talk to you, Jared. Hey, tell me, how weird has this season been? Hey guys, thanks for having me. Yeah, I think uh, it has been quite weird, but I don't think we're any different in terms of what's happening in the world at the moment. So uh, we've had to adapt like every other profession and um, I think it's uh, been a real success. And Jared, the teams have been living together for the last six weeks. What's been the hardest thing about that? Yeah, um, I think the hardest thing has been trying to find some alone time, but uh, you know, we've managed to get out, go for walks, get down the viaduct or uh, Victoria Park there and sit in the sun. Lots of big sweaty units playing basketball every second day. I imagine uh, you'd have to have a reasonably robust laundry system. How does that work? Yeah, the laundry is non-stop, um, kind of drop it off at night, comes back in the morning. Um, the worst thing though is we've got a few guys with sticky fingers, so if you're not in there quick when it comes back, you often see uh, some of your teammates wearing your socks or training singlet <laughs> or something like that. Really? What's the most coveted item? <laughs> Would it be, what, boxes, socks? I think it's socks. I've seen a lot of guys wearing JK on their toes. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Cheeky, cheeky yeah. lads. Fancy woolen socks, yeah. <laughs> hey, now, you're facing off against the Manawatu Jets in the NBL final tomorrow. When we first went into lockdown, did you even think it was possible to have a tournament, let alone a grand finale? No, nah, not at all, to be honest. Um, I think Basketball New Zealand's done an awesome job of uh, putting something together for all us players and coaches to uh, stay involved in the game and, and keep doing the thing we love. But... Um, not just playing, but, but trying to get to a final or thinking we'd be in a final back then was um, not something on our mind. But tomorrow night against the Jets out at uh, Trust Arena, it's going to be a, a special occasion. I've um, been playing a long time and, and hopefully win my first tomorrow. And how cool is it that ESPN is playing the games? I mean, have you had much feedback from the international audience? Uh, I haven't personally, but we've been getting uh, updates from uh, the general manager and other people at BBNZ saying they've had um, a lot of interest. Um, I almost wish I was 10 years younger so that I would have had that <laughs> uh, opportunity to, to be seen and perhaps get over to college and, and experience that lifestyle. Jared, I would have thought they would hide you just on the basis of that hairdo. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean to objectify you in this, in this moment, but it's hard not to just discuss it for, for a second. Is this a look you've been running for a while? There's a lot of growth there. Yeah, this is about uh, 15 months into the process. And I did say at the start of this tournament, if we do win it tomorrow night, it'll um, come off at some stage in the next week down in Dunedin in the octagon. So uh, I know my partner is, she's won, hoping that we win. <laughs> um, so we can kind of get back to some normality with the hair. With it's a particular style as well. It's not just a mullet. That's known as the <laughs> Kinalong, that one there, which is the really short on top and then the real full <laughs> party at the back. It's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jared, lovely to talk to you. All the best for the final tomorrow. Good luck. Take care. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me.